Now, another story heavily discussed online today questions broadband, and in particular, broadband advertising. A report suggesting that it is completely misleading, and the misleading advertising of broadband speeds is confusing and, not least, frustrating for customers and consumers. The survey was carried out by ICM. It suggests that 90% of customers are left baffled by internet service providers' use of up to speed claims when defining the kinds of internet connection speeds people can expect to receive in their local area. Well, let's talk to Michael Phillips from broadbandchoices.co.uk. Michael, give us your take on what this survey discovered. I mean, we've, been, uh, we've noticed for some period of time there's been a massive disparity between uh, the, the speed which is advertised by uh, broadband providers and what customers are getting. I mean, the gap has actually been growing over the past uh, two to three years now that ISPs tend to lay claim to speeds such as 20 meg, yeah, and customer can really only expect to get 40% of that. Um, so you would back up this conclusion, would you, that such claims are effectively misleading? Yeah, I mean, we've always felt that um, it would be much better if ISPs advertise using a typical speed, which is the same sort of methodology that loan and credit card providers use with a typical APR, which is representative of what sort of two thirds of people are actually able to achieve when they apply for a loan. Surely the same methodology could be applied to broadband speeds in the way that they're advertised. Is it a factor, do you think, that for many people actually broadband speeds are frustratingly slow? And maybe the broadband providers know that and they want to give people the incentive, you know, come with us and you'll get a faster experience. I don't think it's as sinister as that. Absolute speeds have actually improved over the past, uh, over the past year. The Ofcom survey shows that speeds have improved and that while the claims of, what, uh, of, of the, the top level speed, the advertised speed, have increased to 20 um, from 8 as an average, um, and in real terms, speeds have actually, actually increased, sort of averages increased from 5 to 6 meg. So, Yes, it is frustrating for customers, but the absolute speeds have improved. And of course, this has a real impact on business, doesn't it? Because so many businesses are conducted online or they need good, fast, reliable broadband connections. We've been lagging the rest of the world. Certainly that was true uh, for many years. Is it still the case now, do you think? I mean, certainly um, uh, countries like South Korea are kind of a, a million miles ahead of us. Uh, France has made significant investments in fibre optic technologies. But, but we are starting to catch up. Obviously, uh, Virgin Media passed 50% of households with a fibre optic network. And BT are investing 1.5 billion. So it, it, we, we are catching up. Uh, but obviously, it is, we are a data economy. We're a service economy. That means that we have to have the best possible broadband to support business. The comparison websites are all out there, of course, aren't they, to say which ISP might give you the best possible deal. Do they have a value, or do you think they're, all the claims are misleading, so they're all equally invalid? No, not at all. A, a comparison site, can, there's a wide variety in the, uh, in the cost of broadband packages, and a broadband package is more than just your speed. It's about the amount of data that you use, and that's the biggest differentiator in terms of the cost of a package. Also, and certainly on our website, we, have, um, we carry out a usage survey, and so we represent the views of 8,000 users in satisfaction listings. So it's certainly when you're choosing a broadband package, you want to think about the price, and you could save around £200 by switching. You want to think about the speed you're going to get, and also the amount that you're actually going to use with your broadband package. Okay, well, we thank you very much indeed for your contribution. It's something actually we'll be discussing in part two of our program tonight in Technology Unplugged, because here at the EFA show, everyone is talking about connectivity, so every home will want the best possible deal in the future to take advantage of everything that's on display here. Now then, the stories you've been searching for on the Sky News website.